I was just reading in uh, The Life of Johnson about uh, an anecdote between uh, Boswell and Johnson. Boswell tells uh, Dr. Johnson that uh, the day prior, they're talking about mortality, death, uh, free will, fascinating subjects. And he's talking about the day prior, Boswell had been to uh, Tyburn, Tyburn, uh, Cro uh, Tyburn Tree in particular, to, and he had witnessed several executions. These are hangings. I had never heard of Tyburn Tree in the London area. I knew about, um, I knew that there were hangings and executions that took place on um, uh, the, um, what do you call it? <laughs> What's that castle thing? Uh, come on boys, let's go this way. On Tower, Tower Hill, next to the Tower of London. Um, but Tyburn, I hadn't looked at, known it. So I looked it up because I wanted to understand. Very fascinating topic about uh, <laughs> Johnson. Boswell had noted that the men who were going to die, I shouldn't laugh, but I'm just thinking of his, his the commentary, um, didn't seem to mind. Johnson observed that they weren't much, probably weren't much in the practice of thinking. Although I doubt that. I think that was particularly harsh on Johnson's part. I'm sure that they were considering of their circumstance, maybe welcoming the uh, gallows after whatever, uh, you know, tortures they'd gone through. Anyway, I was learning about Tyburn Cross and um, apparently the way that it worked was that there was the, um, the prison in uh, London. And then when they took them to execute them at Tyburn Cross, they put them on a, uh, on a donkey cart and uh, the coffins that they would bury them in would be put down first. Then the convicts would be, the, 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 the condemned would sit on the, on the coffins and the executioner would sit on the back as well. And then they would, off they would go. It was a three mile trip from the prison to uh, the execution point. Along the way, they would uh, uh, stop for a so-called last supper, a last, not a last supper, but a last meal. Um, and um, in a pub, and it wasn't uncommon for people to to buy them drinks, buy the condemned drinks and uh, uh, food. And this is where the term "one for the road" comes from, because they would be saying, "Okay, well, it's time to get up, get back on the cart, and head on down to do our business." And the people around would say, "Wait, hold on, hold on, one more for the road." Uh, so, <laughs> imagine that. So, um, that's where that term apparently comes from. Another term that would come from when someone would say, remember, the executioner wouldn't go inside. I don't know if I said that. He would stay outside and sit on the... I guess it was kind of unseemly to have a drink with the man that was about to uh, to kill you, to put you to death. So he would remain on the cart in the wagon. And uh, people would sometimes say, well, because they were getting drunk. It was kind of a party, sad to speak. And they would kind of say, um, uh, well, come on, baby, you can go across. Here we go. Come on, baby, come on. Come on. <laughs> you can do it. He wants to be carried. So they would say, someone would say, um, let's get one for the, uh, for the, for the executioner. And they would say, no, 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 we can't give it to him. He's outside on the wagon. Huh. Okay. So there's another term that apparently comes from this. They did this for like 500 years at Tyburn Cross, executed like 30,000 people total. The way they would do it is and the cart, they take the, they had this wooden scaffold with the ropes. It was a short drop. And they'd bring the cart up, put the rope around the neck, you know, and off the cart would go and you'd fall off the back. Now you wouldn't die right away. You'd, you know, because it wasn't a long drop, you wouldn't break your neck. So people would sometimes, uh, you know, they, would, they could take 30 minutes, 45 minutes to kind of hang there and strangle, so to speak, sadly. Um, so there was the uh, habit sometimes that family members or loved ones or people sometimes would even pay other people to come and pull on their legs to speed the process up. And these people were called um, hangers on. Another term, apparently. And there was one more, maybe two more, two more that I can't remember. Um, Cause I actually, I read this last week and this is the second volume. I read it in the first volume. I just took me the fun to make the video, but interesting how um, these uh, t common terms that we use are trace themselves back Oh, here's some duckies. I'm on, I'm on the golf course. Don't tell anybody. It's closed. We're reading and walking and saying hi to ducks. Well, anyway, enough of that story. Let's get back to the book. See ya.